Alright, hello everybody. This is the sound scientist here with a little tutorial on how to create a MIDI foot controller for super cheap using an existing keyboard that you might have. Mine specifically is a wireless keyboard, which is really nice because the less chords you can have when recording, the better. Um, so just plug your keyboard into your computer, and uh, then what I want you to do is go and get software called MIDI Keys. If you just Google this, you'll find it at the top. I'm on the page right now. Alright, MIDI Keys. I just went to the download.cnet.com link. MIDI Keys for Mac. Just download it right there. And then when you get it, it's going to look like this. You're just going to add the destination set for a virtual source. And then the velocity doesn't really matter because it's just... Because you're just going to be mapping it to control stuff, really unless you want to play keyboard with your feet. Um, so basically then what you're going to want to do is go into the preferences, go to keys, right here, key map, I've got set at full, which is a good thing to do. And then also create a toggle for your hotkeys. What I just did, I just made mine shift control option command K, <laughs> so I know that one's not assigned to anything, K for keyboard. So you're really going to need that because whenever you're going in between your recording software you want to type something, it's always going to be sending MIDI signals. Like you can't really differentiate between two keyboards, like this is my system keyboard, this is my MIDI keyboard. It's just one. So with that, if you turn them on, then when I use all my like typical typing buttons, it's creating sounds, which is through the main stage right now. And then when I turn it off, then I can actually type stuff. Like go into here. And then as you can see, MIDI keys. When with that on, it's not really working out. All I got was a K out of that. Okay. So now that that's cleared up. Now on assigning it. What I did with mine is uh, just kept pressing Command U, or you can just go up here to the Keys menu, and then click Active up several times until you get to the highest active. That way, you know you can still record, like you can still map these controls, because basically it's just going to be playing really high pitched keys. Those keys that you're really not going to use when you're playing on a keyboard, because if you're going to want to be playing on a keyboard and you're hitting these keys, then it's going to be controlling stuff and you want to hear sound. So go to this octave that you're not going to use much. And then what I'm using for software is main stage. So what I did here is I just I created a new one. Um, I'll just show you what I did. Okay, I'll close this one out. Okay, so I just went over here it's the template chooser to keyboards I'm just going down to keyboard and looper this will work for anything though you don't have to be in this concert um, so this might take a while to load so once that's loading though then we can start actually assigning these keys and MIDI values to controls within the software. So I'll show you how to do that real quick too. If you already know how to do that, then you're pretty much done at this point. You can get right into it. But if you don't, let me show you. It says no MIDI device connector right now. Let me turn my hotkeys on. Now, I go over here to my piano track. You can hear it's actually playing notes. This works for anything. anything that supports me. I'm not sure if you can hear it at all. Okay, so after that's done, I just went into layout mode, and then you've got these parameters here in your loopback controls. Go to edit just to make sure that you know what it was. So record. If I want to record, Go over here to layout mode, click on that record button, and then hardware input by where it says learn, 
this is the part where you're going to click that and then on your MIDI keyboard click the control that you're going to want to use to activate the recording so in that case I just clicked it you can see something changed over here now it says C7 underneath it which is the note that's assigned to the keyboard so now I can click learn it's already learning that so now when I go over to perform performing and stuff then all I gotta do now is click my little button that I signed check that out it's recording press again it stops so now you can go back through with all the rest of these buttons and uh, assign it to whatever else you want the whole thing's the same you know you can create new buttons assign it to those go through the same thing again, learn, click a button, click a button, there you go, it's easy as that. So um, yeah, hope this helps you out, if you enjoyed this and it helps, just please leave me some comments, check out some of my other videos where I've actually used this for like looping and stuff, and that's about it, thanks for watching, right, bye.